Hi, today I'm going to show you Android JSON parsing from assets folder. So let's start. Open your Android Studio. Click on start a new Android Studio project. Here we select empty activity, click on next. Name of your application. Here we select language Java and click on finish. So today we parse the JSON data and display in recycler view. So for that we have to add required dependency in build.gradle app level. I'm using Android X so I add the dependency according to that. Now click on sync now. Now we create a JSON file and store it in assets folder. Now we create asset folder. And inside this folder we create a JSON file. Name it user. dot json so in this json file we create a list of user which contains some information of user like id name and email id so we create one array the square bracket represent array and inside this array we create objects Similarly, we create another object. This is how you can create your JSON file. Now, Click on res layout activity main.xml and inside this xml file we will add recycler view. Here we use relative layout. Now we create a layout for items of recycler view. Here we use card view. Now click on main activity. 
So here first we get the reference of recycler view by using find view by ID. Now we create array list of type is string. Now we set the layout manager. Maybe pulse linear layout manager. Now to show the item of recycler view, we create one adapter. Now this class extends recycler view dot adapter. So first we create my view class. And this class extend view holder. Here we get the reference of item or text view from XML file by using find by ID. Now we implement all the methods. First, we create array list of type string for to store the name and email ID. Now we create one constructor. Now inside on create view holder, we inflate our layout. Will be pass view and return my view class. Now inside the on view holder, we will set the data in items. So here we use holder. Now we will implement a set on click listener. So when I click on an item, it will display a toast message. Now inside the get item count, we will retain the size of an R, R array. Now click on main activity dot Java. Now we will parse the JSON data using JSON array and JSON object methods. So first we get the JSON object from JSON file.
So we will get the JSON object from JSON file. So I'm creating one methods to access the JSON data from assets. We use get assets method. To open a file, we use to open method. Here we pass the our file name users.json. As the name of a user, we will use JSON array method. Here we pass our root element name users. Now we will use our loop to get the user list. We will create a JSON object to fetch the single user data. So here we use JSON object. Now we will fetch all the username and email ID and store it in array list. Now we will set our adapter. Now run the project. So here you can see our JSON data inside the recycler view. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section. Thank you.